you consider the things that we were doing with forecasting. Forecasting in and of itself, we actually had a system in place and that was working okay. But there were so many other things we needed to add on to that that our system didn't have. It didn't have the ability to allow us to do inventory planning. That was a big gap. Um, it had no alert capability and so we really needed the ability to not go looking for the problems but set up alerts so that the problems present themselves to us and that really created some efficiency there. Um, you've got um, the ability to have common data collected in one central point for everyone to use. And that was a big plus, uh, something that we really needed. Um, and just the accuracy of the forecast, while was probably respectable, could have been improved on. And so we were looking for a system that had those finite um, offerings in terms of tuning and uh, demand cleansing and different things we were looking for so that we could further improve that forecast because we really wanted to create a common bond with our operations and our, and our sales teams and we needed to make sure that the data that we were presenting was as accurate as possible and we knew there was improvement to be had in our accuracy. Logility's ability to tune forecasts was um, more robust than the system that we currently had. The offering of the inventory planning module and the alert capability was very important to us. The ability to have common data collected, inventory, demand, forecast, sales orders, all of that information collected in one location that everyone could view uh, throughout the organization was something that we were really striving for. Forecast accuracy has improved pretty significantly. We were in the upper 20s in terms of um, error, MAPE is how we calculate, weighted MAPE, so on our top items we were in the upper 20s and as of this time this year in 2012 we're at 18 um, percent. We have different technologies that we forecast, so we've got fiber and paper and plastic, those are our three big technologies. You see a lot of difference in the ability to get a good accurate forecast even within those technologies, so our best performing technology, plastics, we've gotten down to 12 percent uh, error, which is more than we ever could have hoped for a year or two into it. Uh, the, the fact that we have common data that we've collected in a central point and combine that with the fact that we have a better forecast now, the, what you see is other parts of the business starting to accept and incorporate the information that we're providing into how they're running their parts of the business. So operations requesting access to get information out of Legility or to get web views or to use the alert capability. The fact that other teams and sales, say the product managers or business developers, are asking for that information so they can see what trends are going on with their sales. That's all been really, really positive. Um, one of the things that I like that Legility does is they develop a business process workflow calendar with you uh, that largely tied to the Legility steps, but certainly something we've expanded to incorporate just SNOP in general. So we have a calendar and then a set of um, instructions or work rules, if you will, that go along with that calendar that, it, that allow us to put a lot of structure in place. We've been able to set common practices across all technologies, which is really good. So uh, the times of months that we meet with certain people are kind of set on a calendar. The type of data we're going to collect to present in those meetings when we collaborate with those partners, that's all kind of been set. And so what it does is it offers the rest of the organization an opportunity to receive common information from us. And so whether, they're si whether a, say, someone in sales is sitting with the uh, plastics SNOP manager or the fiber SNOP manager or the paper, they can count on getting the same types of information, the same reports, and can find that the collaboration process runs very similar. That has really improved uh, communication and made that, that time that we spend much more effective. Well, one of the big selling points for me was the clearly there was a very thoroughly thought through implementation plan. I mean the tool itself is very powerful yet very user friendly and that's a hard mix to find. Um, something that can do a lot for you but as a user you can be presented in such a way that it actually can be used. So when it comes to forecasting you know that's that's not an easy job but Legility makes that easier because of the way they present the different abilities to tune forecast. So that's, that was a big plus. The fact that during an implementation they have a very thoroughly thought out implementation plan. It's proven steps that they'll take their customers through that have been shown time and time again to work. You don't miss much that way. It's not like we're developing an implementation plan as we're going along. It, uh, it, they had really thought it through and so we got out of it exactly what we thought we would in the time frame that we 
that we expected to. Months. The forecast accuracy started to improve probably within the first six months as the forecasters learned to use the tool more effectively and really started to embrace uh, the capability that was there and use it rather than shy away from it. So that was one. The other was having common data collected together in one central point, more data points than we'd ever had before. You had the forecast and the demand, the inventory, but you also gave them a view of orders, what had shipped and what was going to ship. And then pair with that the fact that you can bring in 30-some different data attributes and all of a sudden they can start to slice and dice and look for different segmentations. And that really, really, I think, made a difference in how quickly they were able to improve that forecast accuracy.